Governor Dugard always likes to say he's the number one salesperson for the state of South Dakota, and, and uh, he certainly backed that up over the last eight years. He always says he's the thinnest uh, recruiter or advertiser for the state of South Dakota, but I think he's an awful effective one. Undoubtedly, Governor Dugard is our number one salesman, and uh, we're really glad to have him there. You know, he's gone internationally, he goes regionally, locally. Uh, you ask him, and his answer is always yes. We are so grateful for the support of our governor and the overall government of the state of South Dakota and the kind of business climate that has been developed here through his leadership. Foundation Park was something that I tell this to a lot of people. It would not have happened without Governor Dugard. Really, when it came down to securing all of the different parcels of land, uh, the governor went out and met with these uh, farm owners personally. And, and that was something that was instrumental. And I don't think it could have been done without him. Back in 2013, he signed the Senate Bill 235, which authorized the Building South Dakota legislation. And that was a multi-prong legislative piece. But what it did for Sturgis, it allowed us to bring infrastructure into the southern part of town. Well, Governor Dugard's been a champion for the dairy industry from day one, because as Lieutenant Governor, he saw lots of opportunities. But then as Governor, I know in the first few months, he identified agriculture, specifically dairy, as one of his number one economic development opportunities. The state of South Dakota today, seven, eight years later, is the fastest growing dairy state in the country. Bioscience is one of the most important uh, sectors that we can be growing within our state and helping to develop this industry because this provides good, high paying jobs for people across the state. Governor Dugard's trips to Washington, D.C. have been extremely valuable in our efforts to uh, expand and, and uh, create the, the largest airspace, the Potter River training expansion. That expansion has led to where we have now been slated to receive the next bomber, the, the new bomber with the Air Force, the B-21, which will ensure the future of Ellsworth uh, well through the next century. He has nearly every year of his governorship attended the Biotechnology Innovation Organization's international conference. A couple of years ago, uh, Bio, as a national organization, recognized the efforts of our governor. And he was awarded a Governor of the Year Award from the Biotechnology Innovation Organization in Washington, D.C. BRC was an engineering-based uh, company that, that worked with the Department of Defense that relocated from the School of Mines um, onto a facility near the base. Advanced Health was a medically oriented call center um, which was looking for a home and the authority working with the Air Force uh, and GOED placed them in a uh, underutilized uh, vacant building on the base. In June of 2017, Sturgis was fortunate enough to be named capital for a day. And what that meant is that from nine in the morning until three in the afternoon, we had the luxury of having Governor Dugard and Linda with us. And what so impressed me about that day was the fact that neither the governor nor Linda took out their cell phones in that entire six hours. Not only were they attentive to, to what we were showing them, but they were truly interested in what we had to say. We had a luncheon and the service staff did not arrive on time. So the governor took it upon himself to serve all of the guests and took the plates and the food out to uh, all of our hosts. So that's just always been his mentality. Very, very humble servant. Governor Dugard, as a salesman, brings forth integrity and uh, conservatism. He's very uh, uh, well-spoken and uh, just a real down-to-earth guy. Uh, Governor Dugard, thank you for, for everything you've done for Ellsworth. Uh, we are definitely in a much better place than when you took office, um, and we are poised to remain a, a viable Air Force base um, for the next 100 years. Governor Dugard, I know that you are incredibly committed to uh, the state of South Dakota and your family, and thank you for that. Uh, I know that the dairy industry appreciates you uh, significantly uh, for all the efforts that you put in. Governor Dugard, thank you for, for all your efforts. Uh, you've made a huge difference in, in terms of Sioux Falls, the region, and the state. 
I could not be more proud to call Governor Dugard uh, a partner that I have had the pleasure of working with for the past eight years. My prediction, and I did tell the governor this at the groundbreaking, that uh, he is going to be the governor of South Dakota that will be nothing short of legendary 